Hi, I'm Mark Wallace, and I'd like to tell you about Transloom from Savage Universal. Transloom is a semi-transparent plastic material that's used to shape light in the studio. It can be used for diffusion, it can be used for product and tabletop photography, it can be used for special effects like silhouettes, and a lot of different things. Really, your creativity is the limitation of this. You can do all kinds of things. Transloom comes in rolls like this, and 12 by 12 inch sheets like this, and it comes in three different grades, heavy, medium, and light. Now light is if you want a nice fall off, a gradient on your diffusion, but you still want a little bit of a highlight. Medium is the go-to to do everything in the studio. You can use that for high key backdrops, for diffusion, and all of that light shaping stuff. And the heavy material is used for tabletop and product photography, so you can make sweeps and things like that out of it, or if you want maximum diffusion. Now, to show you all the different things you can do with Transloom, I've invited Alba to join me here in the studio, and I want to walk through some of the things that we were able to do right here. To show you just how versatile Transloom is, I'm using a single sheet of medium weight Transloom suspended from a background support system. Behind the Transloom, we have a single studio strobe. Now that strobe is going to illuminate this, and we can do three things with a single setup. The first thing we can do is use this as a giant softbox for beautiful soft light portraits. The second thing we can do is to use that same light to illuminate this and make it perfectly white for high key portraits, and then last, we can use that same light, the same Transloom, to do silhouettes. But what we want to start with are these beautiful portraits. So I've asked Alba to join us. Now that backlight is going to illuminate this whole thing, and so Alba is actually going to face this Transloom, and that light is going to give us some beautiful soft light on her face, and we will get spectacular portraits. So let me show you exactly how that looks. Next up, we're going to do some high key portraiture. The only thing that's different between this setup and the last setup is I've added this light. We're using really nice hard light that's right underneath the camera to give us these beautiful ring flash looking portraits. Now the key to this is the Transloom is going to give us a seamless, perfectly white background, and it's really simple to do that. We just metered this one third stop brighter than our key light, and look at these results. Now the third shot in this setup is very simple. We're going to do some silhouettes. I've asked Alba to come behind the Transloom. She's right here. And then we still have our same light that we've used before with the soft diffusion setup. Now the nice thing with this, I'm going to be shooting on this side. The key to this is the distance that Alba is from the Transloom. If she's really close, we get really nice sharp shadows. And if she pulls away, we get softer shadows. So we can really play with that to get some different effects. We shot that, and here are the results. For tabletop photography, Transloom is ideal. For this very simple setup of this wine bottle, I used two different weights of Transloom. For my platform, I used a heavy weight sheet of Transloom, and I put that on a plexiglass base. That allowed me to add a, another studio strobe right here, also with a sheet of Transloom heavy weight on that. That gave me a nice diffused light as a base to put my wine bottle on. Now for the actual key lights, I'm shooting two studio strobes through two medium weight Transloom sheets. You get really nice accents on the shoulder of the bottle, and it looks great. In this setup, I used a single roll of lightweight Transloom to create some really soft light. It was simple. What I did was I took the roll and I just clamped it to four light stands, and that created these three sections. And behind those three sections, I used a single studio strobe, and that gives us this really nice diffused soft light that surrounds Alba. But the nice thing about this lighting setup is each of these sections has this hot spot 
and that creates these amazing catch lights in her eyes. So we get the benefit of soft light with the benefit of specular highlights that you'd normally get with hard light. And it's all from a single setup that's really flexible. We shot a lot with this yesterday and here are the results. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Alba, for all of your help. If you'd like more information about Transloom, some inspirations of how you can use it in your studio or to find your local retailer, visit savageuniversal.com.